What's going on here? I am the robot man. I did not expect this town to be so beautiful. The Troyvan nation of Amaru just yeah. disappeared overnight. Okay, Fine, a special yeah, moment. You, Successful transaction for good food. Welcome back to a new episode here from Clan and Maro hey from New Zealand, guys. For everybody who doesn't know us, thanks so much for tuning in. We are currently traveling for one year this beautiful country and broadcasting it to you guys. And we are currently in Amaru. It's the biggest town in the Waitaki district, right between. Christchurch and Dunedin and this city is thriving with Victorian architecture and it's super unique because as soon as we arrived here we're like wow blown away this is it kind of brought friends. us back it looks like a mini France <laughs> kind of brought us back to Europe I was like wow I didn't realize this type of kind of architecture was uh, going on here in New Zealand but here we go in Amaru we're here and we're going to explore so we have around 14,000 people here living in Amaru which is a very small little town we are very isolated yeah, in New it, Zealand. But it's very really popular because it's a beautiful drive here on the east coast and you kind of have to pass through Omaru and to stop here and yeah. So we stayed the nights in the car. Really, really. Let's make it happen and make let's start happen. from the, the marina. Yeah. There's a brewery over here. There's a, a brewery. The train tracks as oh, well. Oh yeah, we have to walk by. Yeah, so we're going to walk past the train tracks, the train station. Yeah, let's the go brewery. first to the wharf. You want to go to the wharf? Yeah. Guys, you used to have the old train track here as well. Look, that's incredible. Probably used to go out to the boats out here that were docked back in the old days to ship all the goods overseas. So we're just gonna walk down and see what's down here in the wharf. Right, we have a few individuals down here doing a bit of fishing, catching a few fishies for dinner tonight. I think we see penguins. I don't know, I see penguins in the, I'm not sure. But they say it, it's actually very common here to see penguins here in Amaru along the coast as well. Most of the time you see them coming out when it gets dark usually or in the morning how are you doing you well Good, you catch anything nice yeah, you catch anything nice oh, and I was working on the boat that I, I took a net down just to get some sprints for bait yeah ah, look at them bait. little fellas yeah they're just for bait they're cute aren't they yeah, yeah no we were just <laughs> work putting a fly wheel on are you going out into the water oh no it won't be ready by tomorrow ah okay <laughs> yeah all right all the best my friend take care we're just walking along the waterfront here. There's a funky cafe behind us, which, which looks over the, the marina. You can get a coffee if you want, but we're just gonna walk towards through the, the playground here. I think you have a boat set up here. That is cool, isn't it? <laughs> Turned into a playground, you have a boat. <laughs> That's pretty awesome, isn't it? You have a funky looking slide over here. You can have fun if you want. And there's a big wheel, a big, big tricycle. That is awesome as well. Everything's very old around here, so even the old trains are still on display if you want to see them in the museum behind us, which we're going to check out soon. An elephant. Did you see the elephant? Oh, the elephant in the playground. This is a really unusual playground. Even the, even the toilets have a lovely octopus design with kind of water here in the back. We're loving the, the playground design, yeah. It's really nice. Turquoise water, so the marina. Turquoise. It is gorgeous. Oh, the sun is coming, guys. The clouds are getting blown away and they have the blue sky coming. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Look at the water, you like it? So in some way there in the background there's the penguin colony which you can see at night and morning time very early I guess. Uh, somewhere over there. No, you just locked this in. Yeah, there you go. Ah, that's a, that's a, that's that's pretty dangerous. Glenn, you big kid you are. Kid the black one is really good. Oh my God. You didn't get to do it in Timaru, now here's your chance. It's pretty intense. Is it? Oh my God. Does it even made for human, for adults? <laughs> you scared of her? Not Why? Yeah. Are you? Three. <laughs> We also have the old crane from the industrial times here in Omaru. 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 1926 it was uh, made. It's a big rusty thing, isn't it? They made it in England and brought it all the way over here. I think here. they brought a lot of things from England over here, madam. Yeah, we're just walking into the front of the where all the industrial revolution happened here in town at one point. So you have an old whiskey plant here and then the old train tracks and then you have all the Victorian uh, architecture over this way just behind this whiskey building 
Glenn, I'm spotting something, guys. I'm so excited. What are you I excited thought, about? I thought this place is closed because it says on Google Maps it's closed and it's open. It's fresh, real fruit ice cream. There it is there. But I really liked it in Plenum and I had it a few times after and I really like really The little van? Do you want the ice cream now or? Oh my god, I want something else. So I have to check how long they open so maybe I can get it after. Here, that's a really cool spot. You have like a really nice brewery over here to the here behind me. It used to be a whiskey uh, whiskey producer yeah. back in the old days. Look, you can barely see the writing on the wall. Oh yeah, yeah, it was. Let's walk down here. The real fruit ice cream. Check what time do you uh, close at? How are we doing, boss? What time do you close at? What time do you close at? What time do you close? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Thanks. Appreciate that. There you go. Got your answer. What time is it now? It's still early. It's not even 12 o'clock. No. What? You know what time it is, man? What time is it? Oh, it's 1 30, yeah. Right. Look at it. It's really cool, isn't it? Super old. Yeah. I think they already renovated the inside, though. You turned it into a coffee shop, is it? And bakery? It says need coffee. It's exactly. got housekeeper design. You want to go inside? The underground coffee roast. As a roaster, Maddo. It was hard to spot from a distance, but... How are you doing, you well? Hey. Yeah. It's a roaster. It is a roaster, yeah. Bit of everything here. Welcome to the world famous Harbour Street, guys. In Amaru. Yeah. Guys, I really feel like I'm in a French little village. Because what, in France all the little villages look like this, yeah? It's the same architecture. It is. Yeah, yeah. look, it's beautiful, isn't it? Wall and grain warehouses. So that used to be the wall and grain Stable warehouse. Craft. Stables craft shops. Nice, built inside an old stable. So this used to be an old stable, I think. Turned into a shop. Oh, wow. It's a really cool shop, isn't it? They have lots of old bikes in here as well from the old times. For some reason in New Zealand they like to collect old things. Oh look at this, all the old tricycles and the bikes from the kids. There's some nice clowns. It's cool, isn't it? Yeah, they still have everything here. Like in this town you're really travelling back in time. Oh yeah. Oh, An old carriage, yeah, for the horses. I mean, it used to be an old stable, so there's nobody here. They just leave it here for display. There's the old pictures of the Harbour way. Street, yeah. It's a museum, I think. Matter where you off to? Going for a random stroll? It's a city information. Office. There's a lot of tourists do pass by this street, though. It is a famous place, though. And supposedly it's only for pedestrians, which makes it even more special. We have a few cars parked on the street, unfortunately. So it takes the look away. Information center. So this is the information center, madam. Yeah, and the museum. It's a little museum, so we can just check it out. Loving the design in here. But there's a 10, mi 10 minute movie about the town, which we're going to check out now. Nice. It's very cozy, isn't it? Look at the picture. That place was Amaru. Amaru. And this is its story. Let's six listen. Glenn, you mentioned you have to go to the barbers. Where's the barber? Back in the days? Yeah, this is the old barber, guys. It's pretty, it's pretty cool. cool, isn't it? It's Fantastic nice to see story. the culture and how it all started in New Zealand. It's the old see medicine the history place. side here in New Zealand. The medicine cabinet. Pharmacist. Pharmacist, oh yeah, 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 makes sense. Eucalyptus, any vitamins. Nice. Vitamins That's... for sale, pills for sale. That's crazy, you know? Tablets. Oh, I have this. The Tiger Bell. What? Look at this. Did you know that instant coffee was invented by a Kiwi? No, I didn't. Yeah. Oh, That's wow. Where's the instant coffee? You can come across so many old things here in New Zealand. People like to collect old things. So we just checked the museum out. We're going to check out the rest of the street now. We're going to explore and show you guys. But we did learn a few interesting facts about this area because the economy was thriving in the mid 1800s here. It was beautiful. They made everything out of limestone because there was no timber available in the Amaru or the Wakataki region at the time. So that's why everything is built in limestone and it makes this town very unique in New Zealand. 
and everything's still standing here. It's, yeah. it's incredible. So like but all these in the in the eighteen nineties, then the economy kind of started failing because grain just lost its value, and then everybody left, and then you just had all these limestone brick buildings left here, and they're still standing. Even and they're pretty. The, they're in pretty good condition still. Even the trains they left and returned. They left everything them. behind. In, it was like a ghost town yeah, around here. Because they were more like more important ports, or they they went to bigger ports. Bigger ports opened up, yeah, and then this yeah. city just lost its touch, and everybody left and. Unfortunately, it just the thriving nation of Amaru just yeah. disappeared overnight. You know it, that's the reality when crops got, yeah. lose their value. But like all these buildings behind us, that's still the result of this thriving and growing economy here um, back in the days in Amaru. We have a little market here built inside the limestone we're building. Not getting, there's so much to see. We're not getting any far. We're not getting very far, are we? This is like a history tour today. It really is. You can, buy, you can buy all the old stuff here. Look at the, the old bike with the engine. What was that? Are you talking to me? <laughs> Para want a crack. Polly want a cracker? Polly want a cracker. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I've never seen that before. Para's talking to me. Oh, I look like a paddy now. Welcome back to Ireland. I'm a paddy from Ireland now. Yeah. Shops are great, empty around here. They're so cool. Look at that little shop there. Driving with beautiful old things. Oh. Yeah, it's so cool. It's like a little old, it's like going back in time. Yeah, you can only go in there by invitation though. Check this place out in there. So, and then the store here as well. Hey, yeah. That's cool, isn't it? Right. We're not raking it very far down the street, are we? It's not even that big. I just think it's so cool with all the shops and the people and there's so really nice people around here. Look at that little car, Maddo. That's a cute cool little car. The blue car, yeah. Nice for a sunny day. Oh, there's another museum. Cycle journey. The grain store gallery. Very cool. All the old paintings probably from the 1800s. Can you go upstairs? You want to check it out or you do? I'm not very an artistic person, but I know you are. Whoa, that is incredible. That's amazing, isn't it, Mano? Wow. Honestly, this is a beautiful presentation we have. It's so cool. I've never seen an art museum like this in my life. Very unique. Greenstone Gallery, guys. Welcome. I just see a lot of faces. A lot, a lot of faces. You play music? That is such a cool place in the middle. I haven't seen an air gallery like that in my life. That is mad. Very mysterious. You got a creep. Not creepy, but you understand what I mean. <laughs> a bit creepy. The creepy, yeah, but it's very nice. Really embracing all the air galleries along the street here. They're all funky in their own special way. Oh, how are we doing, buddy? You well? Yeah, yeah, really good. What's going on here? Well, you know, I'm I am the robot man. Yeah. I'm, I'm building uh, little sculpture robots and vintage. So objects. awesome, yeah. This yeah, place is really unique. The whole yeah. town. It's, yeah, it's a bit mad, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. it's mad. Yeah. Yeah. In a, in a good kind of way. In a good way, yeah. Difference good sometimes. Yeah. Pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. Funky. So I've been doing this for like 17 years. But, you know, I, I have had a break. Yeah. And you're liking the journey, yeah? Yes. You're liking the experience. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Oh, that's so the most important part. Opportunity to give up my real job and do this. Oh, yeah. Wow. And is it going well for you? Yeah. Yeah. People like your robots. They do. Not nice. everyone does. You know. <laughs> I know. I understand. Occasionally, yeah. somebody does, and they love it. <laughs> so where were you from originally? Then. Uh, oh. Dublin, Ireland. I used to work for a big Irish company called Jefferson Smurfit. Okay. They were printing packaging empire. Oh wow. Yeah. You, know. they, you left it behind. You yeah, come here to. Yeah. I think they live a better life in New Zealand. Yeah, yeah, we came out here as a printer 26 years ago, and uh, you never, never look back. Don't do any printing anymore. Which no, is nice. yeah. Same. You need to, you need to spice your life up a bit. You need to change yeah, things up, always. Yeah. yeah, it's I good. Up, I gave up my day job. Yeah. <laughs> to become, you know, a weird artist down here. In the, in the middle well, yeah, at least you're, you're chasing your passion. That's all that matters. <laughs> yeah. That's don't care what anybody thinks. Best not to care what anyone thinks. That's no. Good. That's a good policy in life. It is. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah. come see what I do. Enjoy making little characters. Some vintage Andrew. Stuff. What a weird 
in funky little town. Like the people are very nice in the shops, aren't they? Like really they're having really proper, good way. having really long conversations with them. Yeah. Yeah, they're really nice people. Did you think it's weird in a good way? Like yeah, that's like what he said. He said all the, like, the yeah. weird people are attracted to this this yeah, town. Yeah, so no. there you go. It's never ending. Like. It's never ending, though. No. No. Do you need to go inside, though? Yeah. No, you don't, do you? Yeah. Why do you have to stop into every every single store on the way? Uh, so we're just going to walk down onto the, into the into the city area now. Going to make our way down. A couple of minutes, the sun has really come out now, guys. It's, just, it's, it's beautiful blue skies now we have compared to this morning where it was cloudy and overcast. I thought it'd be raining all day, but no, here we go. Here's the sun. We're going to enjoy this beautiful day. I just heard the steam train passing by. I think we have a, a on the right here, we have an actual train museum i think because we passed by in the car so we're going to check it out quickly it looks really cool if the old trains oh look i think they make sounds don't they oh the steam is coming out of it no there was an actual train just but the steam coming out of this train huh? see the steam on the top no yeah look at the steam coming out of the train Where? right there take your glasses off steampunk headquarters really? cool oh there is a yeah i told you Ooh. there's a bit of steam coming out hello guys Like. It's called Steampunk Headquarters. What does it do? I don't know what it's all about, but let's check it out. It's a workshop. Hello. How are you? You good? It's a shop, is it? Headquarters. Let's check inside. See what this is all about. Oh, nice. This is cool. How are you? Are you well? You're good, thank you. Just like, yeah, don't know what's going on here, but. <laughs> yeah, just exploring. Yeah. What what is it? Just a, is it a museum? Is it? Is it's it? A, it's a steampunk themed museum. Yeah. And it's sort of a, an art gallery as well. If you like. Ah, I see. Okay. Yeah. So it's totally interactive in there. So you can touch things. You can take photos. That's really cool. A few rooms and a big outside area as well. Awesome. Yeah. It's Fifteen dollars per person. Yeah. It's like that. Uh, it's like Fallout the game. Yeah. I'm not sure if you know Fallout, but I've heard of it, yeah, yeah, it's a bit like yeah, yeah. this design, yeah, yeah. crazy. <laughs> yeah. The balloon is moving. Oh, it's over. I missed it. So guys, we're here at the Steampunk headquarters, and it's kind of a fun, quirky tech base kind of museum very interactive you can go in you can touch everything you can even put like a two dollar coin in and then this zeppelin kind of train then they will smoke come out and all kind of interesting place not my cup of tea though this kind of style of museum continue the exploration of this town even the train station looks pretty pretty cool when this was a Troyvan nation back in the obviously before the 1890s when it collapsed the, 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 there was 17 Troyvan hotels 17 active hotels here but now there's only two standing after all these years so there's one there behind us established in 1877 so she's a beauty look at that beautiful Victorian architecture it's gorgeous how are we doing there's a mysterious door easy made let's what? check it out quickly Go. Where does this door go? Oh, James brought bakery products. That's a bakery. Yeah. Oh, I'd say a place under renovation. Ah, I have to go this way. Yeah. Interesting, isn't it? <laughs> mysterious door. Pretty mysterious door. <laughs> Guys, you even have the dairy here blended into the Victorian style here. Maybe it's a renovated dairy inside it, the old architecture. There's a lovely cafe to the right, the stair and Gerter. Cool. I will need a coffee soon though, madam. I think I need ice cream soon. We can go back and get the ice cream at the at the harbour. At the harbour front Let's soon. Check out this building here around the corner. Sure, sure. And they also have a really old basilica. A basilica? What's a basilica? A church. Oh church. I did not expect this town to be so beautiful. Oh look, there we go. Oh, we have to walk there. This There's a clock tower. That's a cute clock tower. Uh, is that the old uh, post office I saw? Or? Oh, maybe the bank. Let's see what it is. I think it's an old post office, madam. An old GPO. Here's the Bank of New Zealand. That is beautiful, isn't it? They say it came from Athens. The building itself yeah. looks like a building from Athens. It does. 
It does. It reminds me of the architecture and all. It's so cool, isn't it? And then we have another beautiful... Oh, you boss, you well? Here on the other side. And this beautiful Christmas tree, I have to mention. It's Christmas Merry tree. Christmas. Very nice. Merry Christmas. It looks like a Crandall Street in Dublin, city centre. Oh, yeah, it does. You have the GPO, and then you have the, the, the tower that's on the street as well. Or the statue, I mean. So we're going back to the Roman times here. And this is only in the mid 1850s and they were building stuff like this already. It's cool. That's a gallery, Maddo. That is a gallery. Oh. The Bank of New Zealand is next door. It's, uh, no, it's, not, it's Ian said, it's a different... Maddo is on the hunt for the Rose General Store. She loves our roses. And look, look we have across the street, we have an old Bank of Australia. It's all boarded up though. Also a beautiful building. It really is. Oh, you, want, you really do want to go inside. Of course you do. How are you doing? You well? Are you good? Oh. <sighs> okay, not sure why this uh, store is called Roaster. It has nothing to do with roast. No, it doesn't. <laughs> oh well. And it's we're cool. going to get. So many galleries. There is a lot of galleries. It's so cool. Oh, goes through to the other side. Oh, yeah, that is a cool picture, though, no? With the blue car model. So there's the bank I was just talking about. It's all boarded up, unfortunately. It's bricked off the main entrance. Maybe they turn it into something in the future. It's sad though, isn't it? Just a waste of a beautiful building. You found a factory shop. Jam, sugars, bacon products. Cool. Oh, it's very small and cute. Oh, that's a big chair. Oh, it's very compact in here. Where is everybody? They must be in the back. Cool. <laughs> All the shops seem to be uh, empty when you walk into them. Nobody, nobody will steal anything around here. I feel everybody. There's no issues with locking things up. Or so it's, that's a great thing about this area. We also know this is not really the high season right now. It's after Christmas in the in January. So it's very quiet. It's coming this week. Apparently, it's really quiet. So so we can actually embrace it properly without too many people around. Also, it's Monday. A lot of shops are closed, and actually, there's a really nice bakery which I wanted to check out. But it's closed, it's closed today. It breaks, it breaks your heart, does it? Maybe we can go tomorrow morning. Yeah, you could actually. Yeah, that could be an opportunity for you, madam. Well, I am selling buildings everywhere around town. Yeah. I want to see them all. Awesome. I think we finished the CBD kind of Are we in the CBD? It's more the harbour. Yeah, the harbour area. And there's a... The brewery. Nice brewery, apparently. Seems very famous because yeah. there's always a lot of people sitting outside. Yeah, it seems very popular. So you there's your ice some, cream. You can do some tasting. And the ice cream place is still on. It's over there, yeah. For your sugar needs. Oh, what's that noise? Oh, somebody making squeaky noises on their brakes. Yeah. Right, Maddo. Going to get our sugar needs. Wow, delicious. How are you? How are you doing? You well? All good. There's a few flavours for you. Waffle cone, you have Sundale cup. Chance of ice cream today. Very high. <laughs> well, yeah, that's cool. That's what you do, you know, with the fire. Yeah. You know, you have this and this and then. On the streets for the uh, risk of yeah, fires, yeah, when in the summer comes around, it gets too dry. Looks beautiful, doesn't it? It does look good, doesn't it? It does look good, yeah. He does a great job. He's an expert. He is, I can see. <laughs> Enjoy it. Thank you. She came back to get her sugar, yeah. sugar fix. Yeah, sorry. Uh, can I get a regular cap with strawberry? Strawberry cap? No worries. That's a lot. I think I'm okay, yeah, I know. It's I'll just have one little bit. Of course. How was business today? It's quiet. Oh, it's quiet. It's Monday, yeah. There's nobody yeah. around. Christmas time as well. It says on Google Maps you're closed today. Sorry? Google, Google Maps, Maps tells you. Uh, tells really? us you're closed, close. yeah. Because I was actually saying. How do we get to that? Um, you can change it. You can edit it yourself if you, you want. You can edit that. You Cause should because it might drive more customers to your, your business. Yeah, because it says like three days. Oh, like yesterday closed or some, somehow. So, yeah. You open every day. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, I, I would change, change that. Yeah. Change that. Yeah. That that, that, that would drive a lot of people yeah. here. Uh, what? Uh, Google. Yes. You don't realize the potential it has. Yeah. That's yeah. how we found this place. Going for ice cream, Maddo. Look at that coming out nice and slowly. Mixed with strawberries and vanilla. Vanilla ice cream. Yeah. yeah. Typical ice cream here in New Zealand. I didn't expect it's a popular thing, but yeah. Everybody loves their real food ice cream. Fruits, ice cream. Yeah. The price is good as well, man. That's a big portion for six dollar. That's good. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. So All the best. 
Oh, yeah. Fine, a special yeah. moment. Tell me what you think. Embrace nice. the taste. How nice. Really nice. Really, really nice. We might have to share a bit. Just one taste, that's all. Mm. Oh wow, very good. That's all I need though. Mm. Whoa, it's, it's beautiful. Very this nice. Very sweet. I don't even think you're able to finish all that, Mado. Mm. <laughs> This is so much. Yeah, it's such a good thing. They're not stingy with the portion. Mm -hmm. oh. I like it. I like it very much. I like it a lot. Mm. That's where we just been. Mm. Yeah, we're just gonna drive through this area now and then we'll probably get out again. Check the area out. It's pretty cool. It'll be Merry Christmas to you guys. It's Christmas time. Maybe this video is live just after Christmas. But uh, yeah. Look we at this beautiful place. Here. We should, we should park up somewhere. We should park up here somewhere. Though. Where though? There, here. And guys, as you see, the street is so wide and we learned that this is because back in the days they needed space for the carriage. Yeah. So, and now they planted trees in the middle. Right, we just arrived in Countdown on the other side of town. As you know, I mean, you it's free walk. parking here. So that's why we decided why to park here. Why did we even leave? Like we could have just walked everything. I think we walked back because of the ice, ice cream. cream. So we just decided to park on this side of town. But well, we're gonna go and do the commercial area over here. Where are you going? Hat Your hat blew away. It is a bit windy today, isn't it? Oh, lovely. The sun is shining, guys. So we're just entering the commercial area now. We're gonna go for a quick walk down the street here, but it's not as, as special as the, the Harbour Street though. So don't get, don't get, don't get excited. You want to go for food in a bit, don't you? Yeah, there's a nice cheese place, guys. Okay, so we want to go for some cheese platters later. Oh, he said it. We actually doing it. Just for you, Mado. Just for you. To make your day better, you know? You get ice cream and uh, a cheese platter as well. You're spoiling yourself today. Nothing much going on here, just the typical stores, farmlands. You have lots of Christmas gifts for sale, it's Christmas time. Cute place, don't it? Funky little town though. I love passing by all these little towns in New Zealand. They all have their special, unique style. There's a vape store. Smell of vape. It's very strong smell, isn't it? How are you, buddy? So this town is thriving with secondhand stores. We can buy old furniture and all goods, guys. So you can all see all the old furniture inside. It's so cool though, look at they're everywhere. Oh, this is not just in Amaru. This, this is also around New Zealand. There's all these crazy secondhand stores. We can get all these antique stuff. Because New Zealand is thriving with antiques. And you can get really old stuff. It was all brought from England back in the early days. So this part is a bit boring, is it? I mean, there's always a boring part of a town, matter. To be honest, the, the harbour side was really exciting for us. And a very unique experience for us. And we loved every moment of it. But yeah, this side is a bit more boring. This is more just commercialised. There is still a few Victorian style buildings in the area though which have been renovated into the commercial areas Are you going back to the car already? Yeah Already? Why that was a fast tour That was a very fast tour, we just did a lap around the area so Now what's the situation, what are we doing? Cheese Oh the cheese platter, yeah, of course Mother loves her cheese And she no, always brings me along It is famous apparently, or like popular, very popular place See I'm, very, I'm a very simple person but Mother always has her special needs no, Glenn's special needs is to go to the gym. And coffee, and coffee. And coffee, there yeah. you go. The coffee's not expensive. It's just a caffeine fix. Oh, I think I spent a fortune on coffee over the past couple of months. Exactly. <laughs> Guys, look at this beautiful church. Catholic community here. I think the building is just so beautiful. This is an interesting one. All your churches are closed. We've tried yesterday. Uh, in Timoro to look inside the church and now this one is closed because in Europe all churches, all churches are, are open, open to the public so you can go in and just yeah. walk and, and, do your thing. and do whatever let but your sins disappear you know but unfortunately you can't do that because nah. yeah it's, it's just closed I think it's just open for the mass and it's sad because I want to see the architecture let me see the architecture I'm gonna see from the side look how beautiful it is all made with limestone as well and it's just in the back area of Amaru and the house and estates Look how incredible the church is guys, look how far it goes back, it is beautiful. It feels like you're honestly in Rome with this type of architecture. Looks like a Roman building in, uh, in Rome, doesn't it? Yeah. And it looks much older than it really is. As you guys, we continue our journey here um, in a minute, but I just stopped here because this place looks so cute. And it's actually called 
Rainbow Confectionery, and apparently it's the largest confectionery manufacturer in New Zealand. It and it's quite big, so let's check out the shop. It's a sweet store, is it? Yeah, it's a sweet store. I don't even like chili that much. But let's have a look. Maybe you guys are interested in that. Look at the cute little design outside. All the little sweets on the, on the wall. It's <laughs> so cool. So the factory shop. Welcome to... It's probably the wholesaler price. They're probably the wholesaler yeah. as well. The lolly shop. The lolly shop. Is it open? Oh, look at all the jellies. Oh. It's like a wholesaler. That's cool, isn't it? Yeah. Plenty of different jellies. People stocking up for Christmas, I say. I mean, that's pretty. How are you, buddy? I mean, look at this. Marshmallows, 350. Can't go wrong with that. That's a bargain. <laughs> Seasonal mix. That's four dollars. That's good. Yeah. And you guys call this hundreds and thousands sprinkles? That's yeah. so hilarious. Very funny name. That's a very funny name. Hundreds and thousands. I mean, it is hundreds and thousands. Of little colorful, sweet yeah. things. Are you gonna get anything, or you just wanna pass by, madam? Yeah. Jelly bean. Twenty two dollars. That's very cheap. It's a really good price. Special mix, three for two. Rain there, poo. <laughs> Alright, you had your quick look. Are you happy now? Prices are pretty good in there, ending. I mean, the wholesaler makes sense. I say all day. The candy stores actually purchase their stuff from here and sell in the shops. So we're going to the cheese place next, yeah? Sounds like a solid plan. I'm a bit peckish now. I'm actually starting to get hungry again. Yee! Don't know. Yee! Uh, why are you so excited about cheese always? I don't know. You're like a big kid on Christmas. Yeah. Welcome, guys, to the Whitestone Cheese Corporation. Whitestone Cheese and Deli. I think they have like uh, a really new deli. Yeah? Where you can get like breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Or something. Looks very nice down so it doesn't it? The design is pretty cool. Hello, how are you? Good, Very good, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a funky place, isn't it? It's like an old diner, an old US diner. So this cheese place used to be an old motel and they just converted it into a cheese and deli. It's really awesome, look. So they have the old, obviously, motel rooms here behind us, which they only use for storage now, I think. I don't think you can stay here anymore. It's a beautiful place. We're gonna have some nice cheese platters now. But it used to be in Amaru and the in the CBD, the, the shop, but they closed it down and moved to here. So it's a fresh place and it's usually super busy, but today is very quiet in town due to the fact that the holidays come on and up and it's also Monday. So we got very lucky because you usually have to reserve this place, unfortunately. But today it's quiet for us. Yes, a lucky day. So what we have now is afternoon tea. So we ordered Cheesemonger's Choice. It's like four different cheese and then with some crackers and hopefully some other things on it on the platter and it's suitable for two to three people but they have like also this really big one for 65 dollars which is apparently huge it's the size of the table they said yeah awesome. appreciate Thank that you. thanks very much no worries. looks amazing oh my god it's beautiful isn't it amazing presentation we have here look so at it so you also have the names so she recommended these are with the lighter cheeses like these ones these ones first and then you work your way up. Then you have to say that this looks pretty good. It does. It's a really nice presentation oh, and no, the price is very good as well. I have to wait first. The price is very good for that. Twenty eight. dollars yeah. Slowly ease yourself in with the taste. Mm -hmm. You like in the cheddar? It's a cheddar, is it? How about you? Good. Mm. Mm hmm I'm really hoping that this brie is really good. How is it, Glenn? It's really delicious, very rich in taste. I'm no cheese expert, but I'm enjoying this meadow. Thanks for bringing me along on this cheese oh, journey. Someone is loving it, and you actually like the cheese. Yeah, and it's, you get a lot for what you pay for. It's actually wow. really good. Yeah, twenty-eight dollars for me for all this. That's 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 a real bargain. And the cheese is really good. Yeah, it's really good to quality, I have to say. Yeah. I really have to say. I mean, the free is like a bit very mild for my taste. I like it a bit more stronger, but the cheese. It's got free? Yeah, it's this cheese here. It's very mild. This one is a bit mild for my taste. Honestly, like this is really good. That went down super well. We took a toy and we embraced the taste. And now we have a very special moment of cheese. 
super satisfied. This is unreal. Guys, if you in the area. Tardon. White stone cheese. This is my favorite, the vintage cheese from 2009. That was really good. That was my favorite cheese overall. It's good. That was good stuff. You liked that, did you? Oh, that was so good. Even you liked it. That was okay. What? <laughs> I don't want to give you the satisfaction of thinking you're you made a great choice. So we're just outside town. We're going to a campsite 15 minutes outside town just to finish the day and we're gonna sleep near the beach. But I just came across an egg stall and we have actually look at this little stall, it's an honesty stall. And you can pay for something, whatever you want. You have eight dollars for my for the eggs and we have oh wow strawberries and raspberry five dollars that is so that is such a good price oh wow i need to give this a go i'm definitely an eggs but i think i need to get my money for raspberries i have to tell maddo about this maddo that's cute isn't it it's a nice little honesty stall isn't it it's so cute isn't it a little paintings we only share what we grow as we are spray free store your potatoes in a dark place so they will go that's potatoes oh you can buy potatoes as well don't open it Awesome, isn't it? Okay, wait, how much do we need then? Yeah, uh, so eight plus five. Eight plus uh, five. Uh, $14. dollars <laughs> so many. Yeah, pick up a bag of potatoes there. Yeah, 22. All right, $22. Nice transaction. That was a good deal. And they're organic. Hey Successful transaction for good food. That's so nice. Did you take a picture of this? I know, I should. I just found the Freedom Camping location here we have. We're gonna stay here in the camper vans in the back. And then we have our the toilet facility over here as well, which is great. And we have access to the beach, which we're gonna check out now. It's the all day bay free campground. Nice. It's peaceful around here, there's nobody around. We have our own beach. There's no cars uh, driving past. Literally like we have our own beach. That's paradise, isn't it? That's not even two minutes, but that, that's like not even 100 meters. Cool, nice. Look oh, at that. Look at this. It's really nice. Oh, but Roo is treating us well. It's like a 10 minute drive outside of the city. Highly recommend driving here on the east coast of the South Island. Absolutely beautiful. Guys, we really hope you enjoyed this episode, us exploring Amaru. If you like this episode, please give it a like, subscribe and comment down and below. Guys, please reach out to us through Instagram or something because we do want to meet up with you guys. Uh, because you do get lonely on the road and it's nice to do a bit of socializing on the go and catch up with a few Kiwi people to enjoy the local hospitality, the local hospitality and culture. So reach out, we'd love to catch up when we're in your area. So on Instagram we always put our location where we are live at this time. But unfortunately our videos are a bit behind about two weeks. So yeah. you have yeah. to take that into consideration. It takes a lot of time to edit. But that's a wrap. I'm gonna finish up and say goodbye and God bless. See you Lots next one.